If you clicked on this video, chances are that you've read the title and you want to know exactly what's inside of it. So without further ado, I'm just going to explain a few things. So yeah, let's hop right into the video. So for this video, we are going to be covering the best five maps for every single brawler and basically just telling you um, which maps are go are the best for every brawler. And if there are like more than five maps, then I'll just try to include some honorable mentions. But you know, it should be only five maps. And as this is going on, um, the list of maps in game currently are going to be displayed as well as the current map rotation. So yeah really cool and also um this video is meant for um you to help pushing in like as many game modes so i'm not just going to um straight up just telling you um the best maps for every single game mode for that brawler i'm trying to include like as many game modes so yeah basically that's pretty much all you need to know and yeah let's hop right into the first brawler so let's start off with the first baller, which is going to be Shelly. Now Shelly isn't great in the meta at all, but anyways, she only thrives in like maps with a lot of bushes, especially Cavern Churn, Eggshell, Centerfield, Penalty Kick, and Springtrap. Um, Centerfield and Penalty Kick don't have as many bushes, but at least they do have a lot of walls, and Tanks are being played a lot on these maps, and you know, I just figured out that you know, I didn't include Shelly in there. And why I didn't include Snake Perry is that she gets hard countered by Terra and Bow. For the next brawler, it's going to be Nita, and Nita's best game mode, game modes of choice, is Heist, but she also works out in maps that allow her to peek shoot, like. Pit Stop, Deep Diner, Sandy Gems, Well Cut, and Nuts and Bolts. Those maps um, really allow Nita to just peek shoot, so just poke your head, throw one attack, and hide back the wall. And yeah, for Colt, we have his best game mode of choice again is Heist with that gadget for dealing extra damage to the Heist save. So again, his best maps are going to be Crossroads, Traffic Jam, Sandy Gems, and his other two game modes of choice I'd say would be Showdown and um, Brawl Ball. So his best Brawl Ball map in my opinion is Field Cool, and his best Showdown map in my opinion is going to be 2000 Lakes. He wants to have those um, good corridors where he can just um, switch lanes um, trying to just get in the fight. With Bull, what you want to play him is maps where there are a lot of falls for him to push up the map or just to get him to safety. Or you just want to have like a lot of bushes for cover so that he can just roam around the map without being noticed. And his game mode of choice again is going to be Heist. But um, I'd figure out just um, to include some more game modes. You got Safety Center and Showdown, Stone Fort, Feast or Famine, Tornado Ring, and Bandit Cove. He's really good on those maps. Next up is Jessie. Now, Jessie, where you want to play her uh, is on maps that, you know, people tend to bunch up a ton. So, maps with really tight, narrow corridors like, you know, Super Stadium, Spring Trap, Chill Cave, Hot Potato, and Bandit Cove. And again, there are like many more maps that have like really narrow corridors like Triple Dribble. I just didn't feel like including them because like I just want to include um, basically the best maps and as like in many game modes possible and yeah. For Brock, where you want to play him are maps that are really wide open and can really just provide a lot of value for a super. So let's say you want to break down those walls, basically. Backyard Ball is a good example of that, as well as Factory Rush. Larry Cake is a good long range map, as well as Feast or Famine. He's actually really underrated there. And Hard Rock Mine is another great map for him. For Dynamite, well, it's really just simple. You just want to play him on maps that have really tight, narrow corridors and choke points again, because that's where his shots will land easier and for his best game modes i'd say it's heist and siege so you've got well cut layer cake pit stop junk park and some assembly required as his best 
maps for bow well you know it's actually really simple you just want to either play on play him on maps which have a lot of bushes like cavern churn snake prairie double swish and feast or famine or you just want to play him on maps where it's really open so you know um so you know you can just take advantage of that um snare bear plus tripwire or just any single gadget combination star power uh, star power so yeah um his other maps are going to be like dark passage and factory rush and yeah for tick well you know tick isn't really that great in the meta right now except in bounty which that's his game mode of choice and for his best bounty maps we've got land a whole layer cake and for his other maps, which he's really good on, Parameter Split. Hot Zone maps right now are really catered towards um, throwers and, you know, that's normal. And for his last map, I'd say Death Cap Trap since there are very good thrower pockets there. And he can just get in reach with all of um, the enemies. So he's really annoying there. For 8-bit, well, it's a no-brainer, guys. His game mode of choice is Showdown. So... Basically, um, his best showdown maps, in my opinion, are going to be Safety Center, Treasure Hunt, Feast or Famine, and 2000 likes with that Angry Robo modifier, and he can get a lot of cubes in there. But anyways, if you want to like push him in, you know, Brawl Ball, I'd say, because he's not really that good in any other game modes, except for like showdown, but his best Brawl Ball map, I'd say, is Pinball Dreams, just because like there's some good um, turret positions there, and he can really use that to favor him. For the last baller in the trophy road section, we've got M's and for M's you just want to play her in um, modes where tanks are really viable and basically a lot of bushes to roam around or just a lot of walls. And you also want you know some maps that have you know a lot of good wall sections or whatever just um so that her hype star power can provide even more value from the other side. And she's really um, OP in Galaxy Arena, Tornado Ring. That's like two really good um, maps with a lot of bushes for her. We also got Double Swoosh, Triple Dribble, and Super Stadium. Those three maps have a lot of tanks slash you know, walls to help her maximize her star power. So, hello guys. That is going to be it for the trophy road section. Let's move on to the rares, super rares, and the other you know brawlers because we're just going to um, cover them in not really alphabetical order, but in um, class rarity order. So yeah. So hopping on to the rare brawlers, and now we got barley. So barley wants maps with actually a decent amount of walls, not too many, because um. Otherwise, he won't really have that much space to move, but just enough walls to provide some cover while, you know, he can attack through walls and um, people can attack through them. So his best maps are going to be Pit Stop, Hot Potato, Death Cap Trap, Triple Dribble, and Olive Branch. Those maps provide just enough cover for Barley to um, chug his enemies. For Primo, now he wants a lot of walls to be able to push up the map very easily or just a good amount of cover or just he just wants to face a lot of tanks because he's actually really good against, you know, other tanks like Frank um, and yeah. So his best maps are going to be Nuts and Bolts, Super Stadium, Triple Dribble, Sandy Gems and Tornado Ring. Um, he's actually really... um game mode specific but i just chose um his best maps so for poco you want to play him where tanks are viable so basically maps with you know a lot of grass or just a lot of walls to roam around with and yeah so you want to play him in these types of um situations so his best maps are going to be spring trap stone fort spare space super stadium and galaxy arena he's really good in those maps he can his super or like his gadget or overall his healing provides a lot of value to tanks there next is rosa now personally i just love playing rosa because i mean she can spawn bushes but anyways 
um basically that's like the main reason um like why i chose rosa maps is because you know you want to make her um gadget useful and by doing that well you know you can c connect um patches of bushes to another patch of bushes and you can roam around that patch of bush and it's really um useful like you can get really easy kills and yeah her best maps are going to be stone fort canal grande spare space some assembly required and double swoosh well some assembly required might not have the biggest amount of um you know grass you know at least um, there are a lot of walls, and she can also quite use the grass really well there, so yeah. Now moving on to the super rare brawlers, we got Rico. Well, obviously guys, Rico wants maps um, that favor his bank shots, so angled shots. And yeah, his best maps are going to be Hot Potato, Bandit Cove, Traffic Jam, Well Cut, and Pinball Dreams. These maps are absolutely fantastic for Rico to dominate there and yeah for Daryl you basically um it's kind of like a mix but part of it you want maps that um can you you know you can extend his roll length and part of it you just want you know maps that can play really aggressive on so lots of pushes or you know basically any um kind of map that promotes aggressive gameplay so his best maps, in my opinion, are going to be Control Grande, Canal Grande, um, two maps that, you know, promote a lot of Daryl gameplay, I guess. You also got Axel, um, really big chunks of grass and a really um, big water. Um, you also got Post Haste and Tornado Ring, those two maps. Um, you can just get to um, the op opposing side really easily, so the goal or the save. For Penny, um, it's really simple, you just want maps which are fairly open but um, have some walls that um, she can put her turn down, so her best maps are going to be Cell Division, Undermine, Hot Potato, Junk, Park, and Factory Rush. Those maps are actually really open um, in some cases, but um, they're, they also have like enough space for you to um, put down your turret. For Carl, basically you want to play him on maps which, um, you know, um, which makes his attack better. So, you know, you want to do more damage with his main attack. So, basically you want some walls to be in the way. And yeah, his best maps are going to be Treasure Hunt, Some Assembly Required, Pinball Dreams, Post Taste, and Stone Fort. Those maps have walls that really do a great job at compelling with Carl. And yeah, for Jackie, you either you know want maps which um, are really good for sneaking up, or you just want maps which um, she can use to just. Um, use her specialty which is let's say um the ability to attack through walls with her main attack that is a really broken thing about her not really bro broken but that's just really special and yeah so her best maps are going to be double swoosh treasure hunt some assembly required spring trap and triple dribble i think um some assembly required you can really use that um those trees to um get some enemies so yeah play her there like she's really good and yeah for your epic brawlers now well piper it's really simple you just want open maps which have good grass positions for her to snipe with her ambush star power and if you're not then it's fine but um yeah her best maps are going to be crystal cavern Dark Passage, Backyard Ball, Layer Cake, and Factory Rush. Those maps um, make some really good use of um, grass and open cover space. And yeah. For Pam's best maps, well, you want to play her on maps where she can use her station, but as again, the map needs to be fairly open because um, 
she wants to use like her main five particles to hit the enemy. So her best maps are going to be backyard ball, some assembly required, field goal, bandit cove, and treasure hunt. For Frank, well, basically you just want maps which um, allow him for sneaking up or just, you know, let's say breaking down a um, good amount of walls and yeah. So those maps need to be rewarding for his super and yeah. So for his best maps, we got Cavern Churn, Feast or Famine, Beach Ball, Super Stadium, and Penalty Kick. The three brawl maps, um, Frank can hide like really great in the grass and sh he can just surprise the enemy team with um, instant super and break walls. For BB, well, um, BB, it's not really that, um, not really impressive, but, like, her game mode variety isn't that great, to be honest. It's mainly, um, Siege and Showdown at higher levels, so, yeah. Her best maps are going to be maps, um, in Siege, let's say, um, where she can use her speed, or just in Showdown, where she can use her, um, shield star power, but overall, her best maps are going to be Junk Park, Nuts and Bolts, Beach Ball, Pit Stop, and Treasure Hunt. Also, um, you want to play her on maps which her, which her bubble provides a lot of value, so either a lot of walls to bounce off, or just, you know, yeah. For B, well, B, you just want to play her on fairly open maps, but not really that open, so you want to have some cover, because she wants to be played as a tank counter, so... Her best maps are going to be Galaxy Arena, Field Gold, Chill Cave, Parallel Plays, and Shadow Spirits. And up till now, you know, there are some maps that I haven't named yet. For example, um, Bouncing Echo or some maps like that. Well, you know, those maps, you know, they're not really the best for a particular baller, but they can work out well. Still, let's say Piper and, um, and Bouncing Echo, she's really good there. But the reason why I haven't included Bouncing Echo is because I just don't like to play on Bouncing Echo. Um, or like those maps that I haven't mentioned yet. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's move on to the Mythics. So, for the Mythics, you got Mortis first. His best maps, of course, it's going to be... Hard Rock Mine, Canal Grande, Layer Kick, Chill Space, and Double Swoosh. He wants maps where throwers are dominant and basically any, let's say, low health brawlers are dominant because um, he wants to be able to 3-shot those brawlers or 4-shot them, but um, it's kind of risky to 4-shot them and, um, if you don't have his gadget, but yeah. He also wants some grass to help him sneak around the map. For Terra, well, um, she's really just dependent on her gadget right now, so her gadget just provides a ton and ton of value, so play her in Stone Fort, Snake Prairie, Double Swoosh, Galaxy Arena, and Carrington, where if you use your gadget, you'll be able to see everyone hidden in the grass on the map. For Jean, it's kind of, you know... Like, I don't know how to explain Jean, but, um, he wants to be played on BAP some, which, you know, it, it's a bit controly, but not really, you know, because, um, you want, you want some walls to poke around with, but also you don't want to be that open, because otherwise he'd be, you know, really, um, prone to sniping, and, yeah. So his best maps are going to be Undermine. Minecart Madness, Lyric Cake, Backyard Bowl, and Factory Rush. Now for Max, where you want to play her is on maps where, you know, you can support tanks by giving them a speed boost, and that is really helpful in a lot of cases. So pretty much, um, you want to be like in an open lane, but... Now, once you use your speed boost, then you, know, you can just rush and try to have like 
good defined lanes in the map that you're willing to push max because that's really going to help her and yeah the best maps are going to be pit stop hot potato post taste pinhole punt and field goal for mr p now he's really op right now as of the time I'm, that i'm recording this he might be not in the future but um where you want to play him is on maps where his handles care star power can get a lot of value so in very open maps or you want maps which um his um basically his main attack can get a lot of um good bounces so you know tr try and get like a map with a lot of walls and pretty much yeah that is going to be mr p and his best maps are going to be hard rock mine undermine beach ball super stadium and nuts and bolts those maps are really great for either his bounces or just his um handled hair star power for sprout it's very easy guys first of all you gotta find um either a map with a lot of bushes for his gadget um or like his outer star power for photosynthesis um he's really good with that star power at the moment or you just want to get a, ma a map where you know you can create create a really big wall like created factory oh, man. If, if you guys didn't know created factory you can literally um create like a big column of walls like it's insane like it literally um doesn't even <laughs> how can i say this it it's it's really big like i don't even know like how to describe it other maps are going to be well cut and also really good on that map. Triple Jimmy of the Jimmy and Shadow Hunt. You can
hot zone siege and heist um he can just really just get into the battle early on with the help of his jump pad and his best maps are going to be parallel plays split those two maps I'd say but anyways um yeah so fourth tip uh yeah I said it before but it is going to be plan your pushes so you want to know the map rotation it's really important if you want to plan your pushes so 
let's say um the last day um and you want to push piper there's not like really many good maps here in that day like there's like practically no maps except for like dark passage but um if you're living in like another area you may not get that map in rotation so um it's better to check um the map rotation i got like um i put it at the beginning of the video there and yeah, so if you want to use it just be sure to use it as a reference it will get updated like every single season and pretty much that is going to be it for the tips i hope you enjoyed the video and as again i'll see you later peace out